Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just sitting here on a cold winter day, looking out there, snow falling down. Sun's out, but that's pretty deceptive, I know. That can be really cold. Um, question. I was just kind of looking around at things, you know, checking out quantities and whatnot. Has this always been there? What we sold last year, what we sold this year? I honestly don't remember seeing it before. Did my mind just blurred past that and just saw the pictures and that was it? Or has there been an update and this just got tossed in? I noticed it here. I mean, yeah, warm clothes are already starting to work their way in. Now, is that 100 income or 100 sold? I'm guessing sold. Let's see here. Warm clothes. Nothing? You saying we sold all those already? I think we did. Huh. Um, let's see here. We still have you coming in. Charcoal to export. Okay. So you are waiting, and you just got loaded up, and... Come on. There you are. Off you go. We have one more on its way in. Um, you are taking a rest. You are working. You're going to be here a while. There must be one more. Oh, another cart's leaving. So gold is flowing in to make up for what we just spent. But, yeah, where, where did the clothes go? So I don't know what this number is. I don't know if that is the coins that came in to buy them with, or that is the quantity that had sold. I'm not sure. Um, you, we put, we put clothing in. This one I tossed all three, and I guess there's also, are there hide coats? Is there some kind of a, uh, of a coat that they wear as well? Um, let me grab a person right there so clothes warm clothes and shoes that's the only thing that they're measuring i thought on some of these people i had seen more than three lines here though let me stop people from walking around so i can find somebody to click on there we go you just the three just the three okay for some reason you know, i'm maybe thinking back a ways but I thought there were more lines there. Okay, so we just have clothes, warm clothes, and shoe quality. And over here we're selling clothes because it's convenient. They're just going to go off and get some right now. And then to get some down here at this end. Got some clothes there, but there's nothing actually in stock. You are taking a rest. Then I assume you're going to go find some more, assuming that we have any more. Taylor Shop is making clothes, and those ten are already gone. It might not be a bad idea to employ a second person there. Get everybody up to speed on new clothing. Same thing, maybe even with the... Uh, although we're going to have to get this stuff hauled in. We're set for whom to haul? Um, for right now, let's go ahead and give them a hand. Get things stocked up. We've got 200 textile up here. We were to bring some over here. You are working. What does working mean? There's nothing in here. I haven't typed a number in, that's why. Okay, keep 1,000 in here. Keep 1,000 in here. And keep, oh, 2,000 in here in case our fields get really big later. Okay, so with that, what you doing? You are going to go get some textile. Don't take it from her. What? Wait, what am I? Wait, start over. Textile awaiting. Okay. But you're walking over there. Oh, no. That's the weaver. Okay. So the weaver is making textile. Alrighty. And dropping it off to here to go to there. That's right. But I need someone to haul a whole bunch of hemp over here. So we don't have laborers helping here I don't want to get the laborers tied up into too many buildings and not be available for other jobs like charcoal so yeah I'm gonna let you guys do your own hauling and a laborer and or no we've got with two people in here let's turn laborers off uh, that one just let our workers do the hauling if there's two people in here as well, same thing. 
So you no longer buy laborers. One can be working, one can be bringing supplies, and then at times two can be working. All right, so that takes care of that. You guys are up and running. You are the shoemaker, and could be the same kind of thing. Two people in there and no laborers. We'll try that. That's not going to leave as much in the way of laborers for here if we have two people working in all those buildings. Speaking of working in buildings, a comment came in that at first I didn't put much stock into until I sat here and thought about it. The comment was to put a third uh, woodcutter in for the, into the forestry. Now, normally you would put the third one in so that the first two are out there hauling logs like this while the other one is back in the shop cutting up firewood. We got plenty of firewood and plenty of wood, but the qualification was that when one guy's taking a rest and the other guy's sitting there waiting for his partner to come by, that third one could fill in that gap and you'd have logs coming in a lot more faster. And the more I thought about that, the more I realized, you know, that's a great idea. So I've reset for, let's see, this one. Three and five instead of two and four. And you are now out of storage. And that means what? So we're maxed out. We've got 20,000 firewood. Guys, stop making firewood. Stop it. <laughs> Just haul the wood, haul the logs in. I wonder if there's a certain amount of firewood made each time there is lumber cut. I wonder if it's a byproduct. I wonder if the two are hand in hand. Bark, I can I can understand. I ordered 2,000 and they've already made 4,500. So that's just, you know, as they're cutting the wood, the bark is flying off, I assume. Okay, so we've got somebody rolling in here and we need to buy stone. What do we need to buy? We've got almost 600 in from all that coal, charcoal sale. Uh, you do not buy charcoal, you're selling it. You do have stone. We'll take all that you've got each time until we uh, finally get enough. Uh, nails, I'm assuming we are doing fine now. We've got lots of... I don't know how much iron we have, though. Iron, 190 in storage. We've got some in each of the blacksmith shops, though. Let's bring in 500 more. Just move that into storage. One of these days we'll be making our own. I don't want to drop our our, uh, our bank down too low. Don't need kit pigs and cows right now, horses, sheep, lime, we're not ready for that yet that I'm aware of. Uh, I know some of the other buildings will need it. We don't know if we need it for brickwork. There's 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 different things like the salt. It's used in, in more later end buildings. Charcoal we could buy nails and stone. Alright, sell so I can turn you back on slow. I am running, right? Yeah. Clothes? No, we're not anywhere close to the idea of selling clothing or shoes. Uh, I'd love to bring in a little more leather and a little more... No, don't need the textile anymore. The cloth, no. Just the leather until we get cows going in. It would be nice if one day we get into hunting with deer roaming around and start bringing leather in and meat in in another way. Um, so down at the bottom, honey, horse tack, I need to figure out what that is. The saddlery should be built this, this episode, and we'll start exploring that. Dried fish to buy, flour to buy. We don't have any down below. No, we do. We have 120. That's ours, right? That's the, the trader? Where am I? Here? 120 sitting in here. Okay. So gradually they're bringing it down here. What I need to verify though, over time, is that we're not bankrupting our ability to sell them in the stalls by bringing it all down there. But there's always at least 30 here. So I think that is working. Okay, so you, let's bring in the 120. That didn't work. There we go. 120 is going to bring in 18 deal. So bring in an 18, spending 99. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't balance too well, huh? But in time, it will all even out. You're hauling something in. Looks like more charcoal. Can I get a hold of you? There you are. Charcoal, 1,000. So that is doing what for us? So we've set us to bring in only 4,000. 
there's 3600 right now the idea being that I didn't want to bankrupt our blacksmiths how are we doing here we have 200 in stock here I've asked for as much as 1000 so maybe a laborer will haul some over sometime um, this blacksmith we're sitting at 225 and here we're asking for 8,000 in other words fill this place so little by little no charcoal left over there and we're building up a new no, we're, we've got 4,000 sitting here okay so they're gonna haul to 4,000 so just 400 more and that's gonna leave 4,000 here for the for all of that I pulled the guys out of two out of here there's not much for them to do I see them cutting trees down here more than I see them taking them out of a place like this to get our field done so concentrating that labor up here which is in the place where I actually want the trees cut down so I think that's the route to go there we are taking trees down in these two houses chicken coop should be being worked on by the way I think we're working on the saddlery at the moment get that going next the warehouse and move these stocks around and get the inventory for these over here and this stuff probably in this one and yeah, get that kind of settled out eventually we'll start building all of this and getting our industry figured out at this end and then i'll do more once we get some of these tabs gone so they're not so tiny <laughs> chicken coop there the other two chicken coops clear back over here you can wait for a while now what did i say was coming in we've got stone another f almost 400. we are waiting for another 14 so it's still the thousand to go i'm pretty sure that one of these by river sell stone as well so maybe it's time to get this guy kicked up in the in the list a little bit i don't know i'd love to get all of these going too so you are we're highlighted you're right there could at least unpause you so you'll be the next one in line. You're fishing. We can't even man the fishing that we've got going on. So you're off in the distance somewhere. I am running on two, but there's nobody around here. So you can't tell there's anything happening in the town. Salary is done. So that means what? Bring one person in. And for the, right now, let's bring in by laborer and try and get some leather and some uh, metal parts in place. Uh, no leather for horse tack. The leather may well have gone all into, oh, there's 50 over here, into the cobbler, the shoemaker. We've got 50 shoes just finished. Okay, and it's already been called for, probably right over here. This one? There, yeah, you're on your way to get 50 shoes, okay. So you are waiting for leather, you've got it, and you're waiting for metal parts. Let's turn laborers back off that accomplish the goal. You can let's go ahead and grab your own stuff as you need it. And we've already made a horse tack. So is horse tack what is made? Or is there idea of saddles? Or is it just a generic horse tack? Uh, you need horse tack produced at the saddlery to use a horse as a draft animal. To produce one set, takes 25 units of leather and five metal parts. Ouch! Okay, you guys don't have leather, do you? We need leather. We need lots of leather. Alright, so we will be buying leather. We don't have the ability to do with horses just yet, so we may as well sell the horse tack. Um, let's go over here. You guys don't actually... You do buy it. At three per. Wow. Compared to... Oh. Dried fish at 15 cents per. So, that's quite a bit. Though, it may take a while to make enough to make it worth. Now, what does it cost to make it? It says 25 and 5, right? So maybe it's not a great thing. Um, one more time here. 25 leather and 5 metal parts. So if we had to buy metal parts um, here. So metal parts 
uh, they're willing to buy them from us for 50 cents. So I don't know what we'd have to pay for them. So 50 cents, so that's 250 right there. Out of that three. Cancel, though the sell and, and purchase price are not going to be the same. So seeing them in this column is not really helping us. 25 cents. What was the leather when we bought it? I don't remember now. So 25 of those. So in the end, it would cost a whole lot more to make the horse tack than to sell it. Hmm. I don't know. But I'm thinking right now, we're going to limit this big time. You are making, let's say no more. This is running, but I don't have much leather and I really want shoes for everybody. So, yeah, let's zero you out for now. We'll keep this mothballed. Let's um, watch this happen. You are awaiting 200. So you are supplying... Oh, that's leather. That's not horse tack. Metal parts, horse tack, 200. Okay, let's cancel you and see if that stops the process there. Was that you? I want to say that was you. You are taking a rest. So the leather that you had, does that just go back to where it was? Yeah, there's still leather down there. Let's leave the leather right now for our shoes. We've got two horse tack available. I don't think putting that in the market stalls would do any good, right? Now uh, that's, I don't see any reason why these folks would buy their own horse tack. So that's probably not a thing. So you are mothballed. Um, let's make empty. And move the stuff back into here. And it'll be available again for the rest of the folks. Okay. So that is textile. Is, oh, that's a warehouse. I was going to say, what do you got textile for? You've got metal parts. So where do we put horse tack? I guess for the moment we're going to put it in here just to give them a place to put it. This warehouse is done. Okay. So in this warehouse, let's do the hemp. Yeah. The hemp and the... What's the other one called? Flax? There you are. And let's do the textile. And let's do the linen. So, where are you? Is there not linen? What is made from the flax? Is it all just called textile? You build from... Um, yeah, hemp and linen. So why is linen not an option to add to here eventually? Did I not see you? Or are you called something else? Like looking for eggs, you don't look at eggs, you look at chicken eggs. So is linen in here, but it's called something else like flax linen? Huh. Okay, well we'll just let you drop it directly in. Um, yeah, this will also be doing the broadcloth, and yeah, there's a lot more going on over here. So I can turn you off, turn you off. Leather could remain in here. That will come out of the slaughterhouse as well, and the tannery. Okay, completed a chicken coop. Let's slow down and think about things. So, leather, metal parts, and horse tack. Let's leave that over there. Over here, we're doing the, f the, the, the clothing end of it. So shoes, so the clothing itself and the shoes will all head out to the markets, I'm going to guess. Though it may be that they will make more than we'll be able to. We have a storage capacity of 10,000, so we can store some things in the buildings. They don't have to be in warehouses. <clears throat> anyway, you, chicken coop, let's hire a worker and make that worker a woman. Nope, wrong one, right there. And I wanted to do that for these two. Verify I did that. You and you. This will be more of a ladies' industry. 
make sure that they've all got jobs too so you are as well and you do not get a break so turn off all of the seasonal hiring i need somebody stocking this place all the time and we'll leave laborers on on this one just to make sure there's lots of opportunities to bring over 500 water and then we'll say 200 of everything else the idea being whatever it is that we have in town to feed the chickens with let's bring it and we'll just leave them in stock I, all those things, I'm, I'm pretty sure of all those things, they do not rot. So, chickens, can we, we can set that now. We'll just go to like a 15 and 15 until we figure out how to balance that out later. So, this worker will, and as well as any laborers that are about, which we don't have many, will make sure that there is water and food for the chickens. You need to have that in stock before your first chicken arrives. Or within a day, you'll get chicken has died of thirst in the chicken coop. Chicken has died of hunger in, it, in the chicken coop. And it just start flashing and spamming you with all of your dead chickens laying out there. So, yeah, get the food and water in place first. Same with the cattle when that happens. All right, turn that back on. So we are not buying chickens for a while. I want to make sure that gets all stocked up. Now, the idea of telling certain industries to turn off in March to help with sowing the crops i can see the advantage of that right now because i don't have anybody available to work as laborers yeah we have maxed ourselves out we got a lot of jobs now and everybody's employed lots of income rolling in like let's kind of think about that family wealth 60. there's a good size land tax there but there's a lot of money rolling in and someone, maybe if you can confirm this for me, land tax is an annual thing, right? They went to the trouble of saying monthly income here. It seems like it would have as well for land tax if that was a monthly thing. So that should be per year, which means there's a potential of 60 coming in and eight of it's going out in taxes. And, well, land taxes is also a monthly rent for the house. So hopefully that's true does everybody have decent income right now so 80 53 70 so nobody is running out of money at the tax levels that we have set right now they're doing pretty good at 95 why is that still so some of these places will have older children in there and there'll be more than one more than two income earners so we're at 97 55 77 you're having trouble over there so what is going on there you let you work back in here right tailor shop yeah and you work as a smithy okay so you both have good jobs that are going to be continuous you just brought fish home <laughs> just went out and bought some dried fish um that's not a brand new house most recent house was this one i believe though that is fairly recent uh there but still wealth is really low right now taxes are average i think you're going to be okay Maybe they spent a lot of money building things up. We just went through, you know, all of the crops. Maybe they didn't have any crops to sell. They were one of the last houses that came in. So maybe there isn't a whole season of selling crops to the, uh, to the granary, to the town in this house's history. So this should be the same. And it's not, so you must have come with some, some income already. Okay, okay. well, we'll have to keep an eye on that family right there. Zayat's family. And may have to give them a little bit of help to get them on their feet. To give them that, that start that they need. To make sure that they remain in our city. Um, so what is going on? I see I've got a 
a line that has fired off through the town. I wonder what causes that. It's a little bug in the game right now. It means it'll be here for the rest of this episode. Um, laborers are bringing water and bringing, eventually, grains. Whatever grains we have sitting around town in. Um, so, somebody who works at the chicken coop went to go and get this. So, chicken coop, you... Are you hauling a cart? No. Hmm. I don't know what that means. We have carts right here. So I don't know why the cart house over there connected to the chicken coop under the hood. You know, in the game code. To cause that, that artifact to remain. Don't know. Maybe I will restart real quick and see what uh, see if that will go away. Okay, much better. Line is gone. All right, so what are we up to then? Is that a house? That's a house. We're building a house next. Great, let's get that one going. So a lot of what's going on right now is just kind of catching up with the long building list. It's winter. It's white. There's not a buzz of activity. There's no crops going in little on the less exciting side don't have any big trades happening you guys are grabbing supplies though and bringing them back to the tailor shop you are bringing leather to the doesn't give me a destination to the what are you storehouse no you live there okay that didn't help me at all <laughs> No. No. There. She works in the warehouse. So she's bringing the leather over. And horse tack is still sitting over here waiting to be dumped. So stop emptying. Yeah, we'll stop emptying. That's fine. All right, so nobody is working in the salary right now. We're just going to mop all that building until we need it or until we've got a lot better supply of, of leather coming in to support it. You are right there. Balaklia is what I'm going to go with right there. Balaklia. You have got more stone. Not much, but you've got a little bit more. Sure, we'll take that from you. And what else do you have? You do not have chickens. I don't know that we're ready for them. And you do. there's nothing here that we can sell to you. Except maybe honey, except it's not down here. Uh, honey in stock is not there you're here you're here there you are we had 450 ish 460 ish last time we're already down into the threes so our own people are going to be buying it and i believe that is until next october i think i'm not going to sell honey down here right now you are acting like you're about to start yeah you're ready to go fishing let's get this going early you let's drop just two of you down there we still don't have enough people to run everything and we still have a let's just do one in that case still have a uh, a growing season to happen i'm curious to see what's actually going to happen there i know all the builders are going to jump out but we've been we've been you know thinning out our, our builders to do other things a couple of these guys are going to drop out so there's at least six guys are going to jump out of of the different buildings to get to work on the farms on the the farm fields we've got two or three maybe four of these kind of buildings that the ladies are going to drop out and and help out so i think we're going to have plenty of people to get every get all the the fields sowed um as far as our next farm field goes we didn't really accomplish anything we're only just now starting to work on it we cleared out the two houses with our crew of five for the winter so yeah this one isn't going to happen or it will happen with a really poor crop and what i don't know in that regard see we're starting off with a full 100 percent of everything actually we are i thought i would have kept track of the the losses of the of the fields that were already used i don't know we just started here so let's say we 
so this field here in at the end in May so there's very little grow time left we only get out to maybe here before they start to to harvest does it use the full use of you know potatoes the full run right there or does it use just a little tiny bit of it because there was almost no growth in there am i wasting a whole bunch of you know say sunflower the whole group right there 160 and 30 by letting it, it plant anyway when it's going to get almost no benefit out of it at all or is it just going to use a sliver of each of those taking into account that we only got 10 percent of growth out of the whole thing that's an answer i don't know i don't know if the game tracks it that precisely so i'm hesitant all that to say if they do get this cleared by before the end of the planting season at the end of may do i put crops in there or just leave it for the next year that i don't know so i have to think that one through okay so i wanted to move clay and sand out over here but i want the three that's right i want to check something out i want the three that are left to concentrate on taking these trees down and they're doing that right now aren't they no that's farm anyway i want them to take these down not have to take the trees down back over here to do our our clay and sand pit so i'm not going to set those in place right now um what is happening here so why is that you guys should not be working anymore and you're not did they all just go home and take a rest between jobs and they just haven't got done with their rest yet to go and find a new job which will be a laborer's job that might be can i randomly find fishing dock smithy trading post unemployed smithy forestry trading post i guess i should be looking at the ladies too so warehouse smithy chicken coop smithy uh, unemployed unemployed so i'm thinking the ones that i had meant to work in here are going to have a one week gap before they start looking for jobs again that must be what's going on so firing them at the beginning of march doesn't mean they're going to jump in and get the sewing done at the beginning of march though i'm still surprised i'm not seeing this yet is there something i have to refresh now okay dude you are f oh this rehired it did okay let's turn this off until i'm ready to deal with that now that means you are going to go take another two week rest right yeah <laughs> okay well one person's over here so this might be an utter failure this year ultimately we need more housing that's that's all there is to it and yeah so the automatic stuff is happening so let's turn you guys all back off again it's automatically filling in those gaps for me when i had manually set them through the winter to do something different okay so that's what happened there we will eventually fill this in we'll eventually get this done but i'm not going to have the growth advantage that i thought i was going to have by getting this all done sooner you guys are having money problems so yeah that's just going to be a thing for for some for a while let's go ahead and give you a a five dollar boost just to keep you going and as we get we have to do that one or two more times until we get to october and you will be able to sell all the the crops from your land and that'll give you a good boost to your wealth that these other places have all had three four years worth of of that of rounds of that and they're now in pretty good shape okay so we're sitting at 600 up in there you are not hired good you are what you should be you were just going to yeah let's get the sewing done first and then i will manually run that up so in that case if i were to do this it would be 
uh, right there. So let's take March off of there as well. And then we'll run you up to three. Are we in April already? Stop. What just happened? Off season. There. That's what I... Great. Two more guys just went on a one-week break, didn't they? Yep, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to run and pause more often. Um, no, we're all growing. Okay, we're back. Mm hmm. So... <laughs> okay, just let it run. Let it run. I was going to then put everybody back to work again since our sewing's done, but now nah, that'll just mess it all up for next year too. Anyway, what is next? So I wanted to set the brickyard and all of that just to get it in the roster, but let's instead, we're going to build these two right now. Let's get some more houses set. I do want to start thinking about this little neighborhood over here. Which means I could then hire this out to cut the trees down for the houses I want to put in here. Although I could put a row of houses in here and then a row of houses outside of here. And then just build the ones outside first and skip this entirely. There's still, well, 6,500, there we go, 13,000 planks in here to build these houses with that are close by. Okay, so in that case, let's... Do something like this, and I'm going to slow it down so that I can concentrate here. I'm going to be here for a little bit. What do I want this to look like? How far do we want to go? Hmm. And do I want... I originally thought I'd want to mark it right here. Kind of funnel all of this into the middle to here. There's also the advantage of putting the market at the end over here and funnel, you know, just let everybody walk out to the end, the well, the market, everything right here, which is that much closer to go and get everything over here. And I'm seeing trees. I just got to noticing the sun hitting those those leaves over there. Um, you, yours planted is still considered one. We did it at the end of a season. So when we get to the end of this year, September, October. Let's see if these are available to harvest. That might be a thing. Okay. Somebody's starting to fill this up. Oh, the guys that I didn't immediately put back to work. They're going to give us a boost in charcoal. Oh, good. Okay. So, yeah, this fall, let's try to remember to take a look at that, which is probably next episode, but we'll see. Um, RNT. So, if we mark it down in here, I won't be able to stock those market stalls yet so we're gonna have some angry people living here for a while but i need the people to move in to be able to fill the market stalls so we're gonna have to carefully meter that as we go so i think let's leave this this area right here for a little market area so you're going to be up in there and that aims pretty good into that little area right there so let's start with you and do what we're going to doesn't look like as much of a slope there but there actually is you get down at ground level the height from there to right up here there's there's quite a bit of difference over in here not so much for this first run yeah that's that's pretty good so the first arc of housing will just kind of follow the the flow here let me back up a little About like that and let's try to follow the shoreline with this might be kind of fun so less houses in here where the trees are so make this a little bit bigger and straight almost you and as close to in the center as I can Right there. All right. You're in. You. Next to it. F1. Bring you. Something like that. Parallel to it. And. 
You're there, you're actually further over. That's what I need. So we'll start that arc. You rotate around. And in the middle-ish. Right there. Enter. Let's do five in this run. Right there. Let's rotate you and make it a little easier. You I want pretty much straight. You're the bottom of it. Right there, F1. So you're going to come in. You're going to be in the middle. I'd say that's looking pretty good. Alright. These are setting a lot easier than the other ones did. Less choices to make. You up a little bit more. About that distance in. Actually, let's take you out a little bit further. You're in there. You're rotating around like so. And you're up a little higher. Any reason to be able to walk through this? I'm going to say no. Let's make this a solid block. It'll be from here that we'll head into the forest. Or we may never head into that forest. It's quite possible we're going that direction next. So this may be kind of the end of this, this area. Yeah, I think so. Um, am I there? I'm not. Set you. And we are still running. We are. Nothing much is going on. Let's see, where are we? End of March. When we get into April, I'll check a few things, then I'll come back. And at that point, I can probably let it... What are you? No builders are... Okay, we're waiting for April. Okay, one more. Set you in. You're up something like that. Set. Yeah, that kind of completes the the pattern there. Probably a little bit high. Rotate you a little bit like so. Let's make you a little wider. Give you a little more side yard. And you, let's touch R once. Something like that. Okay. Five houses in a row. They all have trees. Alright, so we are basically into April. We should see these jobs rehire as soon as that moves. Otherwise, charcoal is going right there. Over here, what happened? Waiting for that to happen. It The, the positions are available, at least. It's going to take them a while. Yep, there they all go. Uh, child has been born. Charcoal's right here. So now no laborers are available. Um, over here, we still have a couple of ladies filling these in. Whether they are laborers permanently, or we're going to see them falling off as they complete their pathway. No? To fill back into these other jobs over here. Yeah, I expected these two. One more in there. You are not hired. Ah, okay. So I think, realistically, we're still sitting right there as far as available people. I think so. I think that was just a dream. <laughs> you hired, yes. And we're building. Just four guys building. What's the unemployment rate look like now? So a couple of women, and there are jobs waiting for them. Uh, open vacancies, eight. There's two open vacancies for guys somewhere. Where that is, I don't know. I don't think I cleaned out the blacksmiths, so they're they're constant. You may or may not have... No, I did kick you out, so you've got your job back again. Okay, you're still one year. You're still one year. You guys are not working. And these houses are down here. All right, so we'll let it run for a while. Let's put in another row of houses here. And spin you around. And we can get working on these here real soon. So, R and... Oops. Spin me again. Let's see here. How many? We can get at least six, maybe seven in the span of these five. But in the middle, I do want a pathway running between them. So these folks can go down to work, whatever work is. I'm thinking a row of them here. And then a row on their backside. And then industry and shoreline, bridge, industry, bridge, industry. That's that's the dream. We'll see if it actually happens. Um, 
How close? Let's set you... I guess I can just drop this in and move it myself. So you... That's probably enough. We'll put the well at the end, so we don't need to have a wide spot in here. There is... Dracachi. I don't remember what you sell. Um, thinking about kicking this in. We could do another house in here. Kind of a triangle. Could. Okay. Let's make these a little bit shallower so I can get two houses deep in here. You're kicking into the forest, so that didn't matter. Okay. And, yeah, these will all be a little bit smaller. Get more houses in this ring. Uh, touch you that way a little. Like so. And let's, let's make you touch. Get in here a little closer. So you are like that. House should be inside the fenced area. Ah, it isn't the black line. It's the yellow box. Yeah, got to follow that a little better. Right there. So we're seeing the fence. That's a shadow. Wait a minute. It is a shadow. So why won't it let me in there? Oh, the the access way for the front door was touching up in there. I see. Yeah, that's just a shadow. We can go all the way to there. Okay. So you're there. It gives me three good sides to build around. So did I... I'm going slow. Let's set you... Um, are we happy? So pathways are good. Let's make you a little more parallel. And a little more like so. Yeah, good enough. All right, you're there. What do you have to offer, or what can we offer you? Dracachi is over here. You are selling salt, lime. Okay, so salt, we're still sitting decent. I doubt we've used very much. Um, we have a couple of fishermen that probably haven't shown up for work, so I doubt we're going to need more salt. Uh, lime, leather, yes. Let's get another 662. Let's get another 500 leather. How, how bad is that? Takes us down to five and a quarter or so. All right, we'll get that coming. Metal parts, iron, we're still sitting pretty good on iron. We did 500 last time. Iron ore, we're not ready for. Pigs, cows, horses, flour, sallow, dried fish. We're making our own now. And potatoes, so nothing there. To sell, shoes, buckwheat. I doubt we have any. Ten, yeah. Cancel. Charcoal, we're sitting at 4,000. Let's sell the 4,000. All right, so that one. And we could almost say 5,000. Almost. Village house done. Because by the time four trips of a thousand leaves, a good chance another thousand will have made it down. Let's do four thousand and one thousand. So we don't damage one deal by messing up the other one. So you'll buy another thirty-eight hundred. We'll do one thousand. And deal. Okay. Uh, chicken eggs, sunflower oil, clothes. We've got 50 in storage right now. Let's wait a little longer on that one. So we've really got that industry up and going. Honey, apples, and horolka. So that is where we are. Uh, earned 250 and buying 125 And why did that just jump? Because I was there and it reset itself? What if these numbers update real time? Now we have more stone to sell kind of a thing. Hmm. Okay, the other stone that came in while I was putting up houses. Stone's over here. So 500 and something and still need 1,400. So a few more trips of that. Child was born. House moved in or was finished right over here. Working on this one now. All oh, no, we still got quite a bit of materials to come in. How are we doing on materials? Thatch was sitting in here. We've got our, we got 1260 in there. And we've got 2000 sitting over here. A little more 2000 ready to dry. Um, lumber we know is fine. Nails, out of curiosity, we stored a thousand in here, still have them. 
we've got 84 sitting in there. You've got 32 metal parts. I don't want to know. <laughs> I, I don't get that one. We're not making metal parts, but you've got them. We're making nails, and you don't have them. Yeah, don't think too hard on that one. No nails left over here. Okay, so building material-wise, we're doing pretty good. Bricks will be our next big thing to start building, but of all the buildings we picked so far, none of these require bricks. So there's quite a bit of the town you can build before you have to get into more advanced building materials. Okay, so I think we're fine then just to let the town run. Still one year, one year. Two years is one that you can start harvesting. Um, two spaces available, no one's to fill it. Though we're going to bring another guy in and you know, right here soon. Uh, there are job vacancies waiting, which is one of the requirements to have people move in. There was a list somewhere. I don't know where that is. Help, supply, seasonal, it was called migration or something. Stats, population, buildings. Where was the moving resources? Supply, seasonal, shelf, reporting, illness. Seems like there was a pop-up in the tutorial that said take a look at the migration needs to see what else you lack to get people moving in. I saw that in a video on YouTube today but I there was nothing to read you know the, the person didn't go and look at that and I don't know where to find that on my own. I really don't. So I know that you have to have a certain amount of food in stock you have to have job vacancies available, calling for people, meaning there's a job waiting for them. I don't know what else other than an empty house. And I'm kind of surprised with all of our people here that we don't have somebody moving in that is, you know, of marrying age. 13 years old, one year, nine. Is there, in population, children with no sense of teens? Educated adults, 19. Working, laborers, open vacancies, vacancies for educated, zero. Unemployment for, for educated. Yeah. Don't know if you guys happen to notice these flags sitting here. I stuck that in there at the end of last episode, um, in between episodes, to remind myself to set a school. I just, I never think of clicking these other tabs. Education. School. We need to set a school so we can start teaching our kids to do better. So we can use them in, in better jobs that will be coming up. Um, and what I was, I was kind of looking around trying to figure out, where do you do that? And I thought, you know, it needs to be near, near where the most houses are. And for quite a while, it's going to be right here. I don't know what the limit is and how many kids the school can handle. Is there are already too many kids in here to handle it, but I think right here would be a good spot to put a school in. And I didn't check to see what this needs, just like I didn't check to see what the salt works needed. The road is starting to form here, and it did cut off over here like I said it would, which is why I set him in a little bit. I now wish I'd set him back just a little bit further. And I threw a fence around in between episodes too, just to make it look a little better though I might move the fence in a bit and straighten it so this doesn't look like he's so crooked <laughs> but so a major crossroads is going on here yeah I think the school would work really good in that triangle so let's do just that you're in here and looks like you need just a touch of tea and further no let's leave room for those pathways on the sides you're gonna go right there and you're the tannery don't need you yet you're the slaughterhouse you're a field let's put the school in i think what's the school need wood clay and nails just normal stuff let's put you in after this field oil workshop trading dock as far as trees coming down so building that house Let's get the oil workshop in 
Let's get the trading dock in next. Yeah, we can move the trees over a little bit. This is going to get tiny again because of all the houses, unfortunately. So you can kind of see what it says when I pass over it, trading dock. But let's get the trading dock in so we have access to more stone. I'm pretty sure that one of the river um, towns will bring stone out as well. Though it may take a lot of barges, a lot of ships to, to haul the weight of stone does kind of seem odd. You think only the land-based ones would be willing to wagon or cart stone over. Okay, so with that, everything is happening here that needs to be... We've got all these guys coming in. Do we have more charcoal rolling in now? We have moved our first one, so there's no reason to bring any more in. Okay, um, what's in town? Charcoal 5,000. Let's bring this back up to 5,000 and get that moving. So 5,000 coming in. There's 500 flour in here now. No, we're asking for 500. It's 180 flour now. Okay. Do you guys buy flour? You will buy charcoal. Will not buy flour. You must be selling it. Yeah. Do we gamble another? Who is this one? This is still Dracachi. Okay. Sure, let's gamble another one. Um, though I may be going a little overboard on selling charcoal. Let's think that through a little bit before you do rash things and then find out what you really did was stupid. Um, there's 5,000 coal, charcoal in town. We have two blacksmiths needing that and we have no laborers left to refill it. Let's leave that 5,000 for us until we have more housing in and more laborers available to start filling more of these charcoals up. So we're going to stop there. That's enough of an income to keep us afloat for now, and that's what's important. Okay, turn you back up. Everything that is working is working. The school has been set and will be worked on soon, as soon as the trees come down. Otherwise, it's these two that are taking everybody's time, and you've got everything collected and you're being worked on. And we'll start filling up this group next. And nails in town right now. We've got 1,100. Okay, we're we're sitting fine. I can work on this and not worry that I'm missing something, which is what I do. Back of my mind is constantly saying, "What is happening out there?" While I'm fiddling with this stupid little house, trying to make it line up right. <laughs> okay, F1. You are kind of tightening up the the road right there. We're gonna kind of bottleneck that yeah that's close it's a little bit too close so let's move you come on oh I gotta hit the alt there move you down just a little bit to make sure that this is gonna line up right let's get a little over the top what is the problem here you're freaking out okay so moving you up to there moving you and you're gonna touch one side um Oh, it's hard to see yellow and yellow with this great big square right in my way, too. Um, control, move the R over. That looks pretty close right there. We can still get around. Like so. Pull out a little. Now we need to go down a little bit more. We do. So what did that just do? What just freaked out? We're inside. This didn't move, and yet now it's... Uh, the house should be inside. That's strange. Because I didn't move anything on this side. Huh. Let's... No. The shadows are playing with my eyes. There's the fence. That's what I'm aiming toward. Okay. Warning, no market stalls nearby. Yep. And we can't even fit in there anymore, so we're going to have to be at least this wide. Um, do we turn these guys sideways? Will they build? Some will, some won't. We're going to see half the house buried inside the hillside if we do that. Now, they need to be going with the, the flow of the land. We're just going to have a really narrow side yard here. Let's go just a little bit further then. We'll go to the center of this straight line of the of the arc here okay so you're going to continue down like so and i think you're going to be fine all right enter you 
Still working on that house. This one, I want to set this whole row and get them to work on this row. And or at least get three or four of these in. Then we can have the workers to start doing things again. So you are going to cut in there just a little bit. And or I keep staggering these in order to... In fact, I wish I hadn't done that now. Yeah, and I'm not going to go tear it apart to redo it. Okay, so... You just come down a little bit. You come up like so. Pull out. We can still take that down just a little bit further. This We're still kind of in this area here as far as mirroring the shoreline. Uh, village house complete. Did we ever fill the other one? I didn't. I don't remember the notice saying that a family's moved in. Um, you, like so, zoom in. Somewhere like that. And up a little, where we start making these a little bit different from each other. I think so. Do that, enter. What's happening up here? So you're the same house that was hurting for funds. And yeah, so let's see what, I'll keep helping you until we get into selling your crops. And we'll see what that brings in. If that doesn't help you permanently, then we'll look, we'll take a good hard look at our taxes. Um, both of you built, waiting for you. This family did move in. You are now working at the fishing dock. You're working at an orchard. Did that auto hire? One year. What happened? Oh, automatic hiring took over. <laughs> New family settling into our town. So does that mean, do you hire even when you haven't got to your house yet? I guess not. So they get to the house and they'll evaluate that. We are doing some serious something here. What are you hauling? You are hauling wood. You are a constructor, a builder, builder. So you are filling up building sites over there and you're stripping this place of all of its lumber. Okay. Oh, you're down here because it's the closest lumber. Okay. And we're going to start building things down here again. So let's go ahead and do that as we start filling these houses in, which I would say, pull out so I can see. You? Yeah. You're next. And you're next. And you could even be right now. You could be. Let's put three of you in right now. And let's put in a... Well, it's hard to see it. Let's put in a market stall. Let's do this so I can see it. You are here. Like that. Zoom in a little bit and make that look good. You're kind of crooked. Yeah. Well, you can be moved later. So you are there. That gives me a sense of where the market stalls are going to be. So market stalls are over here. And this can be a different design, different market. So let's go with the other shape. Mrs. Rambler informed me that I am going to be putting some variety in mar of market stalls in. <laughs> she said, why did you do that over there? So you are going in and let's go with the... Some kind of a design up top. Which one? We will still make all these consistent. Let's go with that one. All right. And how do we work this? Pathway. Kind of thinking of making a, an arc. Six dolls. Making a circle. Walking through. I guess like this unless the town is going to force a pathway up like that. Hmm. Let's force a pathway this way. So if that's the case, let's turn you like so. And I've got to, unfortunately, 
reset this every time because it randomizes. And I don't know if there's a way to turn the randomize off. Um, yeah, we're going this way. So you're going to be about like that. You're going to be this style. And you're going to be that design. And... Let's go a little further. Like that. Let's set temporarily another archway as a goal. You're going to be out over here. Okay. So, F, F. There we are. Rotate you. I guess I don't need to match you then. Because you're just kind of popping out over here somewhere. Okay. So, we're aiming for there. Give the market stalls a place to a shape here. Um, let's put six of these guys in. We won't fill them yet because there's nobody down here to start to employ them or to use them. But something like that. Now, I could get technical. Slow you down. That looks pretty good. It's not exact. Um... Uh, that's a little closer to exact. All right, we'll go with that. And you are that one. And you're overlapping about Where are you? You're kind of up in there? I think that's about it. How about there. Okay. We'll just run you three. We'll put three more over here. We'll move this guy in to match. And maybe we will eventually even do something like... Is it here? It's here. Pavement. We could, though I don't know how many points I've got, we could make a paved area here just for fun later when we have stone available to us. Um, what's going on over here? You are a messenger from Marefa. So you sell chickens. This might be the time to do that. We have 28 more days. We're running on slow speed. You sell wheat. We need to check up on that. You buy flour. Let's make that one ha happen immediately. There's 210 available. So let's sell 200 flour right off the bat just to get that happening deal. Um, anything else obvious to sell? You don't buy charcoal. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything else that slapped me in the face. Dried fish, we don't have anything significant in town yet. Okay, so we could buy broad cloth. We would use that for warm clothes, I believe. Can we use that for... Let's pop over here and do some, do some research. Does broad cloth come into the tailor, or is that... Let's see here. Broadcloth and tan sheepskin make winter warm clothing. Regular cloths. Regular clothes worn throughout the year. Hemp and linen. Okay, so no point in bringing in broadcloth if we don't also have the tanned sheepskin. And you are not an option here. You might be an option over here or over here if we get the other trader going. Okay, so we're not going to deal with you yet. What was the other question? Oh, uh, flour. So, our store of wheat at the moment. We've got 600 left in there. We've got nothing in here. We've got 400 in there. Let's bring another worker in there. We are not keeping up with how fast the wheat's coming in. You are going to be wheat as well. Okay. So, two workers in there. Probably no need to buy wheat just yet. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Now, we do have chickens. How do we do here? We've got 200 wheat, 200 sunflower, and 500 water. We could handle some chickens right now. So let's make that happen. Right there, chickens... Offers, chickens. You have 20 chickens available. Do we go for the 20 and get this done, or we go for 10 and let them grow? That's a lot of money. But we would have them available to sell in our market stalls that much quicker. Let's do it all. Deal. We have enough food to feed them. And right off the bat, we're set to butcher five of them. Because we've set this for 15. So, 
that we will save 15 eggs to turn into hatchlings and then after that we'll start selling the eggs we will maintain 15 chickens until and after that we'll start butchering them both of which will then start selling in the markets now we could min max these markets and you know this worker is in here selling only firewood and fish there aren't any dried fish available and there's no horseradish available it's right there but there isn't any there was nothing to sell to us so we could start filling in these gaps with things that we do have and even fire half of these workers but will we remember to put them back in the market next time now it could be that nobody is even growing horseradish i don't know that let's just take a peruse through horseradish looked like that let's see the stall right there so it looks like ginger to me is that the same thing so nothing in your inventory that might just be something that there's 43 so did you grow it I don't know what horseradish would look like in as a plant so did that person grow it or is that something they brought with them you've been here long enough that what you brought with you will be gone by now so you must be growing it but you're not growing it in enough quantity to sell any to the market because nobody well here's eight so maybe you sold a little bit and this family bought it could be which means there is a need for a space for horseradish in there so how's our poor family doing that was this one so you've got 16 in there now i think that's the right house 26 11 and you just moved in you got 15. so somehow well at 550 a month and maybe the land taxes are done now for the year and we're able to start storing up some income from the monthly income could be we'll see how that continues to grow but i'm pretty sure that was the house help them out a couple of times get their 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 footing and then they'll become productive uh, parts of our of our town over time I think that works out well okay so the whole point was though to make sure to get chicken eggs and chicken meat ready to sell and a space ready to go so you could take in the chicken eggs as soon as they're available and somebody else who's selling something we just don't have. So I know Marrow had come in. Cucumbers, I guess not. Are you the only salt? Is there anything duplicated? Maybe that's a way to look at this. So I know we're selling flour at the other end. Buckwheat? Less than one. So I guess people are buying it. Okay, flour and potatoes, we don't have any, and you are selling flour and potatoes too. Let's give you flour, let's change you to chicken meat. Okay, you'll sell the chicken meat, and it would make sense if you sold the chicken eggs as well. So let's put either flour or potatoes back over to where I just set chicken eggs, which was over here <laughs> of course you're selling both flour and potato right across hmm well we'll let's remember we have a chicken eggs we've got all three of the clothing in there and the shoes um is there anything else we're making at that other end like saddle tack but horse tack but we don't sell that just remember we're duplicated on chicken eggs over there in case we do need to, to fill in a blank somewhere. Okay, so with that, chickens are coming. Nothing else we can do with this one. Let's kick the speed back up again and continue on. Where am I at, by the way? An hour 15? Man, that flew by. Whoa. Okay, well, I guess I'm done. Darn it, I feel like I just got in trouble and I'm grounded. <laughs> I want to keep setting this all up move on to the next row and set up the brickyard and then see how well they're doing getting us ready for a school they're not anywhere close but looks like they're ready to finish this one though 
Yeah, one more tree and this one's done. And they're taking it down as we speak. He's just waiting for the tree to drop on him. Okay, aim for me. Ah, you've missed. All right, grab it. <laughs> um, speed jet. There you go. Okay, so that one is about ready to plant. We're into June. So the whole idea of whether or not two weeks worth of growth was worth it is not even a conversation now. So I guess I don't need to find out. But, yep, yeah, we are. We have run long. We're going to have to call this one done. So thanks for watching, folks, and catch you next time. Bye-bye now.